Hey everybody, this is Robert from Black Belt Gaming. I wanted to share with you a game that I recently picked up. It's called um, Rivals Batman vs. The Joker. As you can see here on the box, this is for two players. Just two players. Ages 15 and up. It's from Cryptozoic Entertainment. And it is based on the DC Comics deck building game. Well, This is the DC Comics deck building game. I've featured it on my channel before when I demonstrated a solo variant. This game is meant from two, for two to five players and this receives a quite a bit of play in my house. My wife and son really enjoy it. You can play a variety of heroes. Uh, there's lots of uh, cards that come into play that use these different heroes and you kind of have more of a, a wider you know, Justice League feel. The Batman vs. Joker game is themed just about the Batman and Joker, so you have uh, more of the enemies that Batman fights in the comics, and the cards and the powers and things are going to be more centered around what Joker can do and what Batman can do. As I'm talking with you today, I wanted to let you know about how these were, these two games were the same and how they're different. They work basically the same with the power points. And these cards function the same in both sets, just the artwork is different. This is from the DC game. You see Superman maybe being affected by kryptonite. Over here, it looks like Batman has taken some wounds. So this is sticking strictly with the Batman theme. You also have weakness cards, which uh, you can obviously see this is, I believe, the Joker. But this is from the DC uh, kind of Justice League game. This is from the Batman game, and here the different artwork is looks like Scarecrow, maybe uh, giving some gas to uh, Batman there. Functions the same. Uh, the kick card. Here we have a kick card from the DC Comics. Here's the kit card from the Batman game. Very similar. Uh, they work the same, but the artwork is slightly different. Finally, the punch card. Uh, this is from the, the DC game. This is from the Batman vs. Joker. Just a little bit different, even though both are Batman. You'll see on each of these it says Rivals 1, uh, which could mean that there may be some additional Rivals uh, sets coming out in the future. But those are the cards that are the same. The other ones are going to be different. I feel like I do need to mention something here. I've picked out two punches and a vulnerability. That may be the only ones that were affected. But I've sleeved these cards. But I want you to take a look at something. This hasn't happened uh, before. But in the light, can you see that? It's like a defect in the card. It's noticeable on both the front and the back, and you can feel it. Uh, at first, I thought the card may have been bent and then kind of straightened back up, but I don't know. Some, something must have happened during the printing process. I've got another one here with this punch as well. This one runs a little bit more, not quite as bad but noticeable on both the front and the back. I, this may have been the card I saw first uh, with this slight defect here going kind of diagonally across the card, front and the back. Um, I'm sleeving my cards, so it's really not that noticeable in play. But if I didn't sleeve the cards, I think it would be a little bit more uh, noticeable. You could definitely feel that on the card. Since these are just the basics, I don't know if it is such a big deal, but anyway, nobody wants a defective product and these are slightly messed up. So that was a little bit of an unpleasant surprise there uh, in the set. I don't know if anybody else has had that issue or not. These are the cards from the main deck. I believe there's maybe 60, uh, 60 cards here. This is going to function just like the other deck builder. You're going to line these up about uh, five across, and this will be called the lineup. And this is the line of cards 
from which you can make a purchase if you have enough power points generated. So this one costs four, this one costs seven, and they have different uh, effects. That's going to work the same. One thing that's different uh, about this game is the uh, conditions which bring the game to an end. So purchasing the cards works the same, but if you reach a point in the game where you're unable to refill all five slots in the lineup, you've been playing for a while and purchased so many cards that you take this one and it's time to put that fifth card down and there's no cards to draw, the game comes to an end and it's time then to add up all of the victory points. That works just like the other game. You look at the stars and start counting those and see what your score is. But let's talk about the other condition which brings the game to a close. And that's right down here. It says right above that, you defeat your opponent's last character card and you win instantly. Let's take a look at the character cards. In this version of the game, uh, Batman and the Joker come with three character cards each. You use all three of them and you put them in this order. 9 is on top, 12 is in the middle, and 15 is on the bottom. What you do to win the game, in the I guess the preferred way to win the game, is to knock out or buy each one of these cards from your rival. So if Batman can generate enough power points to take out the Joker at his, uh, his cost here of 9, he does that. Now, if he needs to take it out again, he, he's got to beat a 12. If he can do that, he's on the last card, and he needs to generate enough power to take out this 15. And if he does that, then he wins the game. But let's say that this battle goes on for a while. The, the Batman and the Joker manage to kind of knock out two of each other's cards, and they're down to their last ones. But then... They run out of cards, they're unable to fill that main line, the lineup up to five. Well, that's when you start counting up your victory points. And these cards also have points that they are worth. This is six and this is four. So these will add to your totals. So that's the other way that you would win the game is just by whoever has the bigger uh, uh, score count, you know, victory point. But if you can knock out the last card, character card, uh, you get an instant win. You can see it there. It says, you win in the star. So if you knock this one out, you've won the game. So how do you knock this out? In the other deck builder, you played your hand. You, you took a look at all the cards on the table and added up the points of power. And you make it, made a decision if you wanted to, to buy one of the supervillains. Uh, which usually had a higher cost, or if you wanted to buy cards in the lineup, you could choose. This game is different. In this game, you need to decide before you start playing all of your cards. So there's a bit of a gamble here. It says uh, at the turn sequence, if you wish to engage in a confrontation with your opponent, announce that at the very start of your turn, and if you do, basically if you're entering a confrontation, you cannot buy cards this turn. So once you announce that you're going to attack the Joker, then Batman starts to play his cards. And he doesn't know how it's going to turn out, but he thinks he's got a pretty good shot. Starts playing the cards. Maybe he draws some new cards. Maybe he gets some cards that boost his uh, attack power. Then the Joker gets to respond with any uh, defense. Maybe a card has a, 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 a attack text on it, and he has a defense card that can, you know, stop that attack from occurring. But if it's the other kind of attack, which is the confrontation attack, the defense card that the Joker needs is block. And vice versa, if Joker is attacking Batman, he needs to look and see if he has any block cards in his hand. So let's take a look at some of these cards from this set. 
Uh, in general, Joker is from our one playthrough. He's going to benefit more from these orange superpowered cards and the red villain cards. That doesn't mean that Batman can't buy them, but but Joker's going to have a bit more of a boost if he gets more of these in his collection. Batman's going to benefit in general more from the gray cards, the equipment cards, and the blue uh, hero cards. And that just thematically makes sense. But let's take a look at what Block does. Let's say the Joker is attacking uh, Batman and trying to take out this, uh, this 12 here. And he's played his hand and he's generated quite a bit of power. So then... Batman looks in his hand and he sees a block card and it says you may discard this card during a confrontation if you do add three to your character's cost this turn so that's going to take Batman from a 12 up to a 15 so if Joker still managed to add up about 15 points then you know he's still going to take Batman out but if he had maybe you know 12, 13, or 14 points, then, then this card just saved Batman from, from getting uh, one of his character cards taken out. So that's how the confrontation works. If your confrontation is unsuccessful, let's say Batman's attacking the Joker and he adds up all of his points and it's not enough to take Joker out or, or Joker plays a card that helps him in some way and boosts this up to, say, a 12 then you just kind of wasted your turn and you move on. So there's no backlash uh, in, in that way. But if you are successful and you're, you're able to take out that card, then you get that. And that goes into the victory point pile for Batman. Well, here are some of the cards in this uh, series. If you're, <laughs> if you're worried about a lot of the cards being the same from the other deck builder, uh, other than the punch, the kick, the weakness, and the vulnerability cards working the same, the rest of these cards are different. So Commissioner Gordon, he's not in the other set. Mr. Freeze, that's new. Grappling Hook, Master Martial Artist, Oracle, you know, all of these are new. Billionaire, Bat Signal. Bat Signal, I think, was in the other set, but it's going to work a little differently here. So it's a new card. Uh, Scarecrow was in the other set, but it's going to work a little differently. Um, new equipment like Laughing Gas. Bane. Bane is in the other set, but once again, works differently. Hugo Strange is new. Killing Joke is new. Robin. Robin is in the other set, but it's going to do something a little different here. Vicky Vale, like you see. So I, you don't have to worry a lot about oh, well, they just took a bunch of cards and, and put a different picture on it, and otherwise it works the same. No, it's, it's going to be different. And so you get new cards. And some of these cards are going to help you specifically in confrontations, which is that new way to win this game. So this one, for example, the Bat Cave, uh, it gives you an ongoing plus one power during confrontation and only during a confrontation so not during a regular turn when you're trying to buy cards uh, some of these cards like you saw with the d uh, utility belt uh, gives you the block this one says you may discard this and add three to your character's cost this is a block card so those are new things anyway uh, everything is very well themed for Batman and Joker which is you know what it's selling on the front of the box so good stuff in here um, a strong theme and, and new cards to play with let me tell you about my first experience I ended up playing this one with my wife the other night so we've got one game under our belt our belts and I didn't have to read the rule book that closely. I just needed to get a feel for this confrontation uh, part. And that was that was pretty easy to pick up and pretty easy to explain. So the game moved along well. At first when I purchased this I thought it might be a simpler 
game than the other deck builder because the other one had more cards and more heroes and, and uh, our character cards and such. So I thought that would be uh, more stuff to keep track of. And I thought this game was going to be kind of more of a starter set, more of a, a beginner's game. But it really didn't prove to be that way. In fact, as you're playing through these different cards, these character cards, you know, they're all Batman, but the power that you have on each of these and how it affects the game changes. You got this power at first, and then if the Joker knocks that one out, you've got your next card and a slightly different power. And then if they knock that one out, you've got this other power. That's your last one. I believe it's safe to say that each power gets a little stronger as you go along, but it changes and that's kind of cool so at different stages of the game you're kind of playing a little differently and looking out for different things and the same is true with uh, the Joker so that's different unlike the other deck builder where you have your Superman card you just have that one power to think about the entire game so this is actually more complex and then in the other game uh, you have the one task of just purchasing cards. This game adds an extra bit of gameplay called the confrontation. That's another layer of complexity or even difficulty in this game. It requires a different uh, strategy in a way. You've got to think ahead and make sure you have the right cards just for the confrontation prepared. And I just wanted to let everybody know that this game is more complicated, in my opinion, than the other. It's not a complicated game based on others, but it is a step up, in my opinion, from the other deck builder. And that was a kind of a pleasant surprise, actually. Um, I kind of thought it might be similar to buying a, a, a starter set, but not really. This, this is a little more of a complicated game, although it's just for two players and has less cards. But uh, we battled each other. It was pretty even. Um, I think I was playing the Joker. Uh, she took out my first Joker card, and then I think I retaliated and took out her Batman. And then she took out my next one, and I took out her next one. And then I was able to turn things around and get, uh, I took a big gamble and, and took a confrontation and it just all came together and I was able to take out Batman at the end. And the Joker won our first battle. So once again, what's kind of cool is when you're heading into that confrontation, you don't really know how it's going to turn out. And it may all come together like it did for me or it might fall apart and you just kind of burn your turn. But uh, thumbs up from us. Um, my wife and I really did enjoy it. Uh, it was close enough that, it, that we were familiar with it already. And so what was new was just kind of some fresh spice on the game. And it wasn't overpowering. It, it wasn't uh, overwhelming at all. So I recommend it. Uh, it's good if you're looking for something that's maybe a little step up in a good two-player game, plays quickly, uh, easy to understand, moves along well. So definitely recommended uh, by us. Um, if you didn't like the other deck builder, I can't really say that you're going to like this one. It's just, it's very close. Uh, so just keep that in mind. But the theme was, uh, was good. And... You know, I've, I've heard some complaints about the theme in the other one. Um, that's not an issue for us. As much as I like thematic games and how much that makes a difference, um, the theme is there enough for us, and we, and we really like that. And this one had, being limited to the Batman setting, or the Batman comics, almost an even stronger rooted theme than, than the basic deck building game. So... Rivals, Batman vs. Joker. Uh, check it out if you're interested.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.